Um, his name is Payson. Payson is three years old, and he is a trip. I've learned so much from him. He's a little ball of everything. Um, he is a blessed, blessed, blessed little hellion. Um, a wonderful teacher. I remember when we used to lay him down to go to sleep in his crib, he had one of those things up over top of him that would go round and round, you know, and he would just lay there and... <laughs> and he would grow numb. He would get lulled to sleep. And then I got to thinking that we got a lot of that stuff too, you know? A lot of times as we walk through this world, we find ourselves ensnared by, engrossed with various surfacey things, you know, and we just end up, <laughs> and we grow numb, we get lulled to sleep, we forget who we are. Don't, don't, don't forget who you are. Oh, it's easy to in this world that we walk through. It's not that hard to remember. Who are you? Well, you are the one in whom the Lord has invested greatly. You're Jesus' kid, the one in whom the Lord is greatly invested in. Therein lies our identity. Therein lies our significance. That has been established, solidified. But we go, gosh, it's gotta come down to what I do. It must come down to what I do, right? It's gotta come down to what I do. I remember when Payson had first started walking everywhere. Um, I, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, right on the edge of the Appalachian Mountains. And um, in our backyard is just one big giant hill. Uh, and in, in the south, in the south where you don't want to mow, you put down pine straw. So that hill is covered with pine straw. and and and. Payson got all interested in walking up this big giant hill. And I thought, uh, I just don't think this is a good idea. Uh, you're going to slip and slide all over that slippery pine straw. You're going to lose your balance. You're going to stumble, trip, fall. I don't, I just don't think it's happening. But he said, <laughs> And he convinced me. <laughs> so I thought, you know, we'll go up together. We'll go up together. Um, we'll hold hands. So we, we started up the hill, and here goes Payson. And I, I, I am the one slipping and sliding, falling all over the place, can't keep my balance. And I thought, what is going on? What's going on? I, I am the much better walker. <laughs> <laughs> but Payson, and I finally figured it out. I finally figured it out. It was Payson's low center of gravity. You know, it was who he was, his low center of gravity. Who he was, it was his low center of gravity. Who he was that enabled him to get up the hill. He wasn't trusting in any kind of skills or abilities he had, any kind of calculations to put the right step here and thereafter. It was who he was that got him up the hill. Who of us doesn't have a hill? Who of us doesn't have a hill? It's who you are that's gonna get you up the hill. Who are you? You're the one in whom the Lord has invested greatly. Jesus is a kid with your significance established, your identity solidified. Then we go, gosh, it's got to come down to what I do. It must come down to what I do. All of us, from time to time. And we get consumed with keeping track of everything measuring things out and consumed with piles, piles, 
piles, hoping that our pile of good stuff that we've done is bigger than our pile of bad stuff that we've done. And we've all been there adding on to each one of the piles, but they're just piles. They're just piles. Jesus does not give a rat's ankle about your piles. Doesn't matter how high your good one gets, doesn't matter how high your bad one gets, it will not alter the Lord's investment in you. And I have had a few people come up to me and say, what do you mean, doesn't matter how high your bad pile gets? Think about what you're saying. You are just too much into grace. You are too much into grace. Like, oh well. Shoot me. It does not matter how high your bad pile gets. Does not does, just like it doesn't matter how high your good pile gets. Plenty of us are trusting in that too. It's grace. It covers it all. It's grace, and we can't hear it too too many times. For therein is where our significance and our identity lie. There is our only hope for getting up the hill. That's our only hope for letting one step lead to the next. Sometimes when I go places to play, they say, okay, before, what is your statement of faith? I go, well, I don't have one. I don't have one. I have a statement of grace, but my faith isn't anything to build a statement upon. My faith was given to me, it is a gift. And now as I walk, I'm just trying to respond to the grace that has been so slavished upon me. And that's all we can do, is respond to the grace that has been slavished upon for therein lies your significance your identity has been established that's your hope that is your hope so this has ended up being a little song this has ended up being a little song for Payson it is a uh, it's a it's a lullaby it's a lullaby Slash protest song. What's marketable? If you listen to the world, then your soul gets filled and your heart gets told. Only what is sold is any kind of value. It's what it all comes down to. Plastic horses, they spin in circles, and it's keeping everyone so happy, happy now. Plastic horses, they spin in circles, but it's a merry go round, a merry go round. It's a merry-go-round Going stain, the material It's a set of fame The imperial, it measures all of us By what we got But I shall not want, oh no, I shall not uh, uh, Plastic horses, they spin in circles Keeping everyone so happy, happy now. Plastic horses, they spin in circles. But it's a merry go round, a merry go round. Yeah, it's a merry go round. Come on, have a little fun. Oh, 
Sing it out now, man. 